Okay, so welcome back. Um, I need to figure out my wiring here uh, before I get going too far, everything else, because I got wire strung all over. And so I want to get these wires ran and placed. Um, you know, I don't got the battery in the car, so I can run everything and not worrying about zip and zapping. Uh, so this, this is the control module for my, my uh, door poppers, okay? So this, uh, this pops off too, and it kind of shows you, let's see right here. All right, so this is the wiring diagram here. This is pretty much, they got it all ready for you. Uh, you're just basically going to run your, your power and your ground, you know, to your battery, okay? Because this, this is going to be constant. And like I said, this is your control panel, okay? They already have your popper connection. So if you come over here and you can see that these two, that these two are going to connect. So I'm going to connect them right away. And then I got to figure out where I'm going to put all this stuff, um, you know, inside the car. So, cause this has a, a programming or you take off this case, uh, case was well, a case and then you'll be able to program your fobs to them. So I, I got to figure out how I'm going to run all this. So I'm going to start running wires first. Uh, I'm going to connect that, run the wires this way, and follow the instructions. So if you follow along, uh, maybe I can kind of show you how to do it. So remember, I already got the, the one side this way. And so now I have to open up the hood and, you know, run wires this way. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the door poppers. So I'm going to put this together first. All right. So remember that control box I just showed you? So I'm going to plug that in. So we know that that's going to connect. Now, I know this is this all this all this stuff is going to have to sit underneath, um, you know, underneath the console there. So I'm going to go to the other side and let me try and so, run that first. This wire, this is all the wiring that's going to go. To this other door panel so this one I want to run first okay man what a mess um, so I can unplug this real quick because I think this is gonna have to go underneath here somewhere so this wiring move all that down there first and move this one out of the way These are going to be my power windows. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to have to run over this. Luckily, I got most of that already removed and out. I'll have to take screws to take these out before I can run them and underneath. But, but this is just not going to be very fun. Let's see here. All right. Where's this end? Get this big. Want to get them out of the way of the of the pedals. Ah, it's behind here. So that was my power doors, or door locks. Okay, so now these, let's see. Why is that separate? 
let me double check the wiring on this because I think these have to go up underneath the hood and then these what is this yeah let me double check the wiring wiring diagram okay so it comes with the relay power window relay so that's what these connect to so you got the one that goes there you can see it okay and that one go there it's turned around okay and then the ground they want you to bolt it to that hole there okay so that that grounds this out all right, so that's going to be your ground. So where you bolt that up to, and then this, these these pieces, these are going to go to your um, your actually window switches. All right. So now, now that I know where all that goes, I'm going to have to tear the dash apart. But like I said, I'm just going to try and run the initial cables and get them to where they're going. Okay. This one's, I don't understand what's, so look at that cable. Let me look at the wiring diagram again on that one. Okay, so that one goes to the circuit, these two go to the circuit right here. And then this one on that end, can you see it? Yep. And this one on this end goes to the horn relay. All right, so these are going to have to, these two are going to have to go up through the firewall okay this isn't gonna be fun so I'm gonna have to reach my hand up through there I'm gonna see if I can put a wire through first from this end uh, let me show you so you can see it goes through the through the firewall right here I'm gonna stick a wire through there run it through and then tape these wires and then just pull it pull okay it so since I don't need this wire to be pulled up through the um, you know the firewall I just took it apart it was just taped at this little end right here so I just took the tape off that way I don't have to pull you know all these wires through and so this one see you can see I pushed the wire through right here and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it and tape these two together and then I'll pull it through okay just gently pull I did that and I can just take this tape off and undo this and we'll set up our relay here or yeah is that relay okay. whatever we'll whatever that be for a second I'm gonna come back over here all right come back over here and now I got this piece that goes over to the other power window so same thing, I have to run it through the, the back there. And then those pieces uh, go to the, the center console where the switches are. So this one's gonna have to go underneath for sure. And then we'll have to figure out how I'm gonna wire. I'm probably just gonna go up along here and you know, right into the switches. So, so we're just gonna do that. We're just gonna okay, run so this. So besides over. putting the ground together and then of course plugging in the, the auxiliary, uh, into the fuse box uh, Now we can run This going this way and uh, So we need to take off this section here and probably just this plate And then this and then we can get to here and put in my Switches there. So like I said, I'm just leaving it loose because I, I, I need to be able to move it back and forth uh, You know, I need I need room it should I mean look should have plenty of wire, but still, you know, 
uh, just to be safe. We're just going to take our time with it. All right, so the next thing, because I got the other wires put over there, next thing I'm going to do is take off this panel and then that. Boy, it sure is dusty. This thing's going to need a really good scrub down by the time I get the center down. console out. <clears throat> um, I do believe I have to take this this bracket off first and then these go in between and they hold from the bottom. Uh, they didn't come with bolts or anything. So, because the way, <clears throat> I mean, you, you can see how there's a little groove right there. So, I mean, but if we push it in like that, it doesn't seem to, uh, let's see, there we go. I mean, that's, that's pretty flush. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's what you need, just bolts. Um, I mean, I'd be happy with that because that, that's what holds that. So, so I need to find bolts, little bolts that are going to hold that in because uh, they didn't come with bolts. Okay, so I don't have any bolts that size. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go run down to Ace Hardware and see what I can find for bolt-wise. And that way we get those in. So let me just kind of place them in there. See, and I think that's that's about right. So it looks like I have to bolt it to this on the outside because there's these little grooves here that hold it in place too. So, okay, I'm just going to take one of these, go down to Ace Hardware, and see if I can find a, a bolt. All right, so that's four what it, I need four of them. Uh, it looks like. So it's nice and flush. So I think that's the way it's supposed to be. So that looks about right. So I'll get the other one put in and uh, it's starting to get dark. I don't know how much more I wanna do. Um, I might just get that in there and then just plug the ends in and you know, leave it as the, uh, at that for now. All right, so we'll see, we'll see. Here's our initial wiring for that. And so now I can kind of put it back in that general area. Uh, I don't want to bolt it down because I want to hook up the power and be able to test it first. So these little tabs, they just snap down in. Um, so hopefully, you know, it's all wired correctly and everything like that. So everything will work just fine. Uh, like I said, just kind of placing it there first. I'll run the wires underneath and then uh, just let it sit there. That way all the wires are just pretty much hanging there, ready to go, and then, then I can just hook them all up and be done with it. Okay, so here's my circuit breaker. I'm gonna kind of put it just down here somewhere. Don't know where yet, but somewhere along just this wall. And then this wire goes onto my horn relay. So I don't have to have this so long. So I'll, I'll trim that wire down and uh, yeah, that way, that way all the wires are out of the way and then I can kind of tape it up. So, I mean, it's getting dark, even with the, this lighting and stuff, I'll wait till, uh, I'll wait till tomorrow and then that way I can just put it all in, have that wired up. And then I have to come back, and like I said, it's too dark. I have to take the dash apart, and uh, a few other things. And then I can tear that down that door, and put in the electric motor over there. Then I, that way I'll be able to test my windows, and make sure that's all up to snuff and working. So, yeah, a few more things I gotta, like I said, I gotta tap into down there but tomorrow tomorrow um I, I got a late start on this today so anyway boy this is this is just dirty look at this fresh paint nice and clean dirty <laughs> it's gonna need a big bath when once this is done that's the problem with with black dust i mean it just collects everywhere anyway um, yeah, so a little bit further, 
Um, hopefully, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. Get more done. And uh, I can put my door, my door handle back on. Uh, once I make sure all my electronics work. And that'll be functional. And then hit this door over here, get that door done, that little section, and then paint the rest, paint the rest of the back. So, and I am considering, I mean, I, I did all the hard straight, you know, straight work with this. Um, I don't know if, if funds need be, I can always take it in and have a, uh, you know, a real professional. I might go just get quotes and see how much it costs for, you know, just a scuff and spray because everything's going to be nice and straight. The body work's pretty much done. So they'll just have to scuff it and paint it. Uh, you know, if it's not too much, maybe I'll just have them do it. But, and like I said, they won't, they'll, they'll only have to do the outside. All the inside gaps and everything, the, yeah, that'll be just fine. So it'll just be all on the outside and just get a, get a paint scuff. But uh, I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to go in here and take this apart. I need to, you can see like all that old grease just built up. And so we got to come in here and clean this, this stuff up here in here too and clean it up. And uh, yeah. So and maybe clean up the handles and make sure they, you know, because they're kind of tight. So maybe I can loosen them up a little bit with all the, by cleaning them up. All right. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, not not too uh, not too crazy today. So <sighs> closer.